We're back. Uh, welcome all to SCP Containment Breach. What shall we name this run? It's always hard coming up with a name. Solar Flare. Why not? Map seed. Z. Uh, we'll do Euclid and we'll do enable intro sequence. We just got done finishing Escape the Back Rooms. And then this one shouldn't be a one and done. It should be a little bit longer. I hope uh, everyone's having a good night and or day, depending when you're seeing this. Let me just check the audio. We'll lower music down to like 20. That doesn't seem to have done anything at all. On behalf of the SCP Foundation and our staff, we welcome you to an exciting one-month working period in our top secret research facilities. Unfortunately, the exact details of your upcoming work assignment are highly classified, but please read this document carefully to make your stay as safe as possible. During your stay, you'll be taking part in various testing procedures. Some of them can be extremely dangerous. Sir, I'm reading this. We don't need that. Alright, I'm following you, good sir. I like how that light's clipping through you. Doctor L. Please report to heavy containment. Checkpoint C. Man, I'm hungry. Let's hope, uh, so every single run of this is completely random with their seeds. And I'm hoping we get a good run. Well, my day's ruined. The only reason I still come here is for the pizza. I don't know what it is about that pizza. Yo, yo, it's another prisoner. Do we have subtitles at all? I would expect not. Then, you know, the talking is literally only in the first few seconds. SCP-173, Object Class Euclid. Before we continue, we're going to do a quick SCP Wiki lore thing. So, I just want to know all the classes and types. Where would I find that? SCP classes. Object classes. So we have safe. Anomalies that are easily and safely contained. Anomalies that are required more resources to contain completely or, or where containment isn't always reliable. Heater. Anomalies are exceedingly difficult to contain consistently or reliably, with containment issues often being extensive and comp complex. Thaumiel? Thaumiel. Are anomalies that, have that the Foundation specifically uses to contain other SCPs. Even the mere existence of Thaumiel class objects is classified at the highest levels of the Foundation, and their location, functions, and current status are known to few Foundation personnel outside of the O5 Council. Neutralized means they're no longer anomalous. Apollyon. Anomalies that cannot be contained are expected to reach containment imminently or some other similar scenario. World-ending threats. Archon. 
Problem is that theoretically be contained, but are best left uncontained for some reason. So this one can be contained, it just requires some resources, so... Are you gonna let me in, sir? Oh. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken any time with SCP-173. Cool. Blink, 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 blink. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I hope nothing happens. What's up, Dad? I'm dead. That didn't last long. I can't load, I have to start from the beginning. Uh, let's not die of it. Uh, the map seed. I like Ogal. We don't need the intro. Uh, the guy breaks containment and we have a containment breach. SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. Alright. So, I do know how to play this game, and I know all the mechanics and what to do and what to look for. Up into the second level. I have never gotten past the second level. Alright. And so the fun begins. Which way do we go? Left or right? Left or right? Let's start off left. We'll start off going left. So it's good procedure to blink before every door just in case SCP-173 is there. And it's gonna get too hard to save SCP every single time for everything, so this guy's called the statue. Uh, going downstairs will be nice, so I probably will do that. Fuck you, Emily. What do you mean, fuck you, Emily? <laughs> well, apparently, fuck Emily. Alright, we're gonna go downstairs, because there's a key item we need down there. It's gonna suck, because the downstairs sucks. But we need something. Down here. We have SCP something. I don't remember. But it's a uh, lizard lizards that mimic human voices to lure others into a false sense of hope or a false sense of security. And then they eat them. That's it. We're looking for we're looking for a key item. We're looking for a key item. I think it's in those crates to the right. I just need this guy to turn around. Who's there? Ah, there it is. We need this hand. We don't need it right away, but we do need it at some point. I also don't want to die because... I will have to come back down here and wait for this rotation all over again. Is 
a bad rotation right now for these guys. It's gonna be difficult to get back. But I need this hand. I also don't need these things. Who the hell is that? What's poppin', G? Look how, look how beautiful he is. Show yourself. I don't know how to describe them. I, I think lizard feet and lizard things fit the description pretty Show well. Show yourself. Oh great, there's another one right there. It's gonna suck. This is gonna suck. I see his hand. There you are. I have to wait for this guy to loop back around. I thought I lost you for a moment there. I hear the plague doctor to the right. He can't be down here, I know that, but I think it's just a random audio clip going on. Signifying that the facility is going to Absolute shit. I thought I lost you for a moment there. Oh Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to move forward a little bit more and we're, then we're just gonna sprint. I thought I lost you for a moment there. Who's that? Are you fucking kidding me? This is a horrible rotation going on right now. I'm dead. That that was a horrible rotation. So we've already failed, let's not die. Uh, I, I've had that rotation before too, and it just sucks. There's really not much you can do about it. They're just too close to each other. All right, let's save after that cutscene so we don't gotta witness it again. So to the left is complete nothing. So uh, we head to the right then. We need to go back down there at some point for the hand. But for now, we will be fine without it. Make sure to always close doors behind me. Can't get in any of these side rooms because they require a key card. Which I can get here. There he is. Hello. Look at him. Can I get up here? So we need this key card, we need this thing. Uh, is anything on the SCPs downstairs? 1008. Oh, yeah, it's a teddy bear. We don't need that. We don't need any of this, but the key card and the mask. Batteries will be nice. And now we go on our way. Oh, it's the ball. It's harmless, I know that. And we already have a level 1 key card. Let me out, please. Alright, that, that was really lucky. Finding a save point now would be pretty nice. Uh, we can also find some things here. Oh, that scared me a little. Just a smidgen. 939. Imitation of human speech and the voices of prior humans. That's the, those are the creatures downstairs. All 
Alright. I was thinking if it told me anything about them, but... Nothing I know of. I already have a key card, so I don't need anything else. Close these doors, and hopefully we'll find a save down this way. Oh, the getting this thing will be nice. Alright, you have fun. So, we go this way, and I we might be able to get in here. Yeah. Another level one. I don't need two level ones. I don't need that. We'll take another battery just in case. We need to find the nav card, and now we need to find the SCP-913, which is a safe, and it will... It will... There's the nav card. We don't need... Should be level two. He's gonna break out of there. But the door is now closed. What does this require? Level 3 clearance. So we have the nav card. And this thing will tell us where we've been. And the layout of the map. So I'm going to run back to the uh, starting area to save. Since we've made some mighty fine progress. That door doesn't open. There we go. We can only save at monitors on Euclid. Euclid, you can only save at monitors. Heater, you can you can't ever save once you're dead, you're dead. And safe, you can save whenever. I like Euclid, it makes it a little bit more of a challenge, and Heater's just annoying because things can bug out at times. So now that we saved, we know down there is the elevator and the only and the only way to get that. All right, uh, avert your ears. All right, let's try this again. Avert your ears. Are you gonna do your thing? I think it's bugged. It's supposed to scream at you and stuff. Oh wait, I need to go that way anyway. So yeah, that, that's just an example of uh, things get buggy at times. Level 3 or higher. So the big name of this game is exploration and avoiding SCPs. This room's fun to cheese. Because normally... Oh, hi. Normally you have to press that button to open the other door. But you can cheese it by just clicking the thing before you... uh. Enter and sprinting in before the door closes. What's poppin'? Tesla gates are fun. You bait them out, then you sprint through. That's used to... Get rid of an SCP. Yeah, I thought so. I was moving the wrong way on the map for a second. We'll head to the left. Let's see what's down here. Surveillance room. I think that's something we need to do at some point. But not at the current moment. 1162 is good. It's a hole in the wall that will please your up. That will take things and give you items of equal value. Like a lost key. A level one key card. Or parts. And you can just cycle through everything. What is that? Movie ticket? Let's see if we can get anything good. I do not believe so. But yeah, level two card, which we already have. Well, we've, I've missed all our batteries, so hopefully we find the safe soon, because I kind of fucked up and didn't leave a battery uh, on the ground. 
So if per ha chance uh, our nav card explodes and has no more juice, we can't use it anymore, but it's a really good uh, uh, device to... It's a good device of getting the layout of the land. Knowing where you've been, knowing where you have to go. Because you can get lost very easily. This just leads behind the basement. There's two elevators. The one where you're at to get the severed hand and the one behind it just for a shortcut. At some point, we have to go back down, which sucks to say, because we need that. So we don't need it. We can we can get around it, but it will be nice. I think the goal right now should be finding the safe. Which is right here. Cool. Anything of use in here? I don't believe there is. Oh, there's a save point. So the save you can do is... The save you can do is upgrade your things. I also think uh, 173 one, is behind this door. Okay. I heard I heard scooting around of the statue, but I guess I was wrong. And now we set this to fine, and we can upgrade these guys after I take these out. So this will give us a better gas mask. I should say you feel you can breathe easier. So now we have infinite sprint, but the more we sprint, the foggier the gas mask gets. Like... So... There we go. You can start seeing it getting a little bit foggier and harder to see. Just a smidgen. So that's good. And now the nav ultimate tells me where SCPs are. Has an entire layout of the land. And uh, it doesn't require battery. It's really useful. Uh, right now, we're getting a better med kit and uh, trying to upgrade our key card. This is one of the ways to get a level 3. And we didn't get it, so... It, it's very... It's very iffy. It, it's very, very iffy. So it might, it might take a few tries to run it through, but... That should give us a level 1 at this point. If we had multiple key cards, it could go by faster. But I normally just don't pick it up and hope to get a level 3. If we get a level 4, we don't need a key card anymore. Because then we can go back and get the key, and the key unlocks any door. So I could try and gamble with that. But if we do that, I will... I want to get more key cards to try, because getting a level 4 is a little bit difficult. Alright, please don't be a master card. Let's go level 3. Alright. We shall save. Uh, yep, we shall save. And now our goal is to... Get more key cards. This should be a security checkpoint, right? Yeah. And I don't think I am able to get through until I get rid of the lockdown. Yep, thought so. So the big thing of area one is you have to get rid of the lockdown in order to... You have to get rid of the lockdown in order to progress to area two. And same thing with area two to get to area three. You have to get rid of the lockdown. I'm not going to activate the uh, surveillance just yet because... I don't want to deal with the Plague Doctor right now. Because once you activate Surveillance, the Plague Doctor comes into play, and... He is annoying to deal with. So that's the book. If you read, you get any disease. 
What right now I'm looking for is not that. I'm looking for the ring. The ring makes me immune to several things. And some things I need to be immune in order to grab it. That's the pendant. That's not there. And there's the ring. I think that's all that was down here. So if by equipping the ring, I get immune to I get immune to certain things, but if I wear it for more than seven minutes, I start dying. Or I just die out instantly. It's one of the two. It says SCP-173 is nearby. But I don't see him anywhere. Probably should have saved now that I have the ring, but it's whatever. Alright, cool. He's not here. Always close doors behind you, just in case. You don't want uh, the statue coming up on you. I already have a gas mask, so we don't need to go in there. Basically, this this is another spot you can get the gas mask at. Oh, we can save here, so I'm glad we actually came in. Uh, you can get the gas mask here, and if you have a level 4 key card, you can interact with the skull. And by interacting with it, you die. <laughs> Let us see. That... Jesus, I hate the random fucking noises. We can get another medkit in here. I don't know what syringes do, to be honest. Grab the medkit. That guy comes alive. And now we just lock him in there. Forever. So since we need to upgrade the key cards and get back to the safe, there's no point of not grabbing the medkit while we're here. Also, while we're here, we can look at other SCPs, and I'll let you know what they do if I know. Coca-Cola bottle is just a Coca-Cola bottle, but really good. Level 4 doesn't help us. I don't remember what this does. Develops any... Any... What? Any water that comes in contact with it. Okay. Alright, so something with water. It's another checkpoint. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, that's just bubble gum. I forgot the door opens for that SCP. And this thing, what is this thing? Kind of something similar to that of Play-Doh. It doesn't seem like it does anything interesting, it's just here. So, we continue onward. Zero six six. what is zero six six? I honestly don't know what 06 this is. Uh, this thing is an SCP-173 killer, because if you don't have a gas mask and you run through that, you'll start blinking rapidly. And of course, blinking, of course, causes him to... That did nothing. That, that was completely useless. I forgot what 066 is. I, I really did. It's always something important if it's able to move. Oh, the lights. I love the lights. So the lights are... It's a display of a woman. And it shows the life of a woman. And then she gets murdered. And if you watch for long enough, the devil comes and kills you. Very interesting and fun, am I right? We don't need to go there for any longer. We're we're on the roll. We're trying to we're trying to do things. I need to get to the left. Uh, 
Oh, can I get in here? Let's go. So, this is what I need the ring for. With the ring, I also only get to, uh, stamina. But this is a music sheet, or some type of sheet, that, uh... Causes the wearer to finish it, the writing, no matter what. And... That can even mean using your own blood. So, the, uh, whoever's being affected by it will want to finish that, whatever it be, no matter what. And by finishing it, it causes the user to use his blood and eventually die. Let's see, anything interesting in here? No, nothing. I can't read that, that's too faint. Close the door behind us. And we continue onward. It says 066 is coming up. There we go, keycard. We have a level two. Hopefully we can get one more. There should be one in here, right? Yeah, level one, I think. Oh, is that 066? It's that guy? Really? Let me in, I want the key card. All right, well. Was there nothing else down here? Infinite hallways. And this guy, this is what this is what we're trying to get to right now. It sucks he's kind of all the way across the map, but it's whatever. I also will say we don't have uh, Well, we don't really need it. We're gonna solve it with the key. So, normally there's a room with a blank cell in it, and if you look at it, you get a creature that only shows up in the peripherals of your eyes. And, uh, he's not dangerous at all, he's just there. But, in his room, he has a SCP containment sheet on it, and it has the access code to get into a certain area in level 2, and we need that. But I'm assuming since he didn't spawn, or maybe I missed it, uh, we don't need it. But at the same time, we're not going to need it because the key will let us get to any room we want to. That thing still doesn't work. Uh, have we been in these rooms? Oh, SCP-500, we need this. Oh, I don't want the ring. So SCP-500 is cool. I can't even get in there, cool. 1499 is not interesting. It's just a gas mask that uh, puts you into a different time. We'll save since we're here. And then it should be this way and just to the left. Please click the button. I'm also surprised we've ran into uh, 173 so very little. Normally he's like behind every door. But hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna complain, makes it easier. Right, it should be this room. Alright, we save, we set it to fine, we drop this, we drop this, we drop this, and we drop this. Yeah, that should be everything we need. Now we keep doing this until we get a level 4. One, level two, and level two. Uh, 
I want to save my level 3 just in case something happens. You never know. It could break it. It could, uh... They could just disappear from existence. You never know. So, this level 3 will get us through to the next area. But a level 4 will get us even farther with the key. So, it doesn't hurt it having. There's a small chance we get it with, uh... This level 3 we have in there, but... You never know. Level 4 should be red. We got a playing card. Cool. Oh, we're back at the top. We also could use the machine to get the other version of the hand, because there's two hands we need. But at the end of the day, if we get this key, we don't need the hands. It literally opens every door, no matter if it requires a hand DNA print, a button, a key card, access code, it will open any door. As long as it is, uh, not locked or not, uh, what is it? Not, fucking, okay, not locked, I'm not looking for the word. Uh, as long as it's not, a uh, broken, as, the door's, as long as the door's not broken, or if it's, uh, not the containment breach checkpoint doors. The only way to get to checkpoint doors is by, uh, completing the mission for that area. Here we are. There's a chance. Right here we get it. Taking a little bit of time, but it's the reason we got multiple cards. Red? There it is. No, I'm trying to get out of my inventory. Thank you. Uh, we'll drop the hand here, too. Let's rearrange the inventory a little bit. All our necessities and our first aids. Right now, we're pretty set. We're pretty much ready for the end game. Uh, once we get to the surveillance room, I'm just gonna activate it, even though we don't have the key just yet. Oh, that's lovely. Uh... That, that was horrible. We had SCP-173 at the door, and uh, we had 106 spawn in. 106 hasn't shown up yet. Uh, he's the old man. He can go through walls, and if he touches you, he, there's a chance of him either killing you or sending you to his pocket dimension. The pocket dimension is like a 20% chance of escaping. There's like three rooms. The main room has eight separate hallways. There's like a 20% chance of uh, getting to the next room or just escaping. The second room is uh, like 10% chance of escaping or getting sent to the third room, which is if you get sent to the third room and you escape, you're going to die because the longer you're in the pocket dimension, the more da uh, you just take damage over time and then it gets to a point where you can't recover. So that was lovely. It says 049's already spawned, which is kind of weird because he shouldn't be. There's 106, right there. He can be contained with the uh, Tesla gates. And 173 is right here, isn't he? So, he should get contained with this. Right? Get off my map, please. He should be gone. It doesn't contain him, it just gets rid of him temporarily. Which in our case helps us out a lot. He's one of the annoying ones, but there's a way to re-contain him. And that's in level 2. So once we get there, it should be a lot smoother. Uh, the key's down here, and I think so is the surveillance uh, tape. SCP-500 while we're here. This is a pill that can cure any disease. There is some point in the game where we are going to need it. Okay, cool. I'm glad I didn't want to swallow the pill while wearing the gas mask. 
This game's a little finicky. Sometimes the clicking doesn't work and all that, but... Oh, well. Actually, we're not going to do the surveillance right away because this is a dead end and I don't want to get stuck. Try Actually, I don't think it's down this hallway at all. I think I was... I think I misremembered where it was. Eric? Eric? I never, I've never seen that guy before. It was a completely random chance of getting him. And now we have the key, but the shadow man spawns, or the old man spawns, so... Yeah, I forgot he spawns with that, so I'm glad we didn't start, uh, the surveillance thing yet, because if, uh... Oh, hi, I didn't even see you there. If we were being chased by multiple SCPs at once, that would suck. At some point, he does go away. It's good we have the gas mask, though. Oh, he better go away, because I'm at a dead end. Okay, there we go. That was close. That was, uh, really close. Spot to save would be nice. Can I save in here? I can, cool. F5. There we go. So where was the surveillance thing then? Because we need it to get out. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared the fuck out of me. I'm glad I just saved. He was hiding in the goddamn elevator, wasn't he? 970's the repeating hallway. That one's a fun one. I like that one. Maybe it's not to the left. Maybe it's to the right. Uh, there's the skull. And I think it's through these doors... There's the med bay. There's some SCPs. We'll look at the we'll look at the last ones. Recent Lauren launches twelve probes into the body of the character. Only slight burning on the skin, which passes quickly. Wearing it protects his damage from any serious damage and attempts to inflict them. Alright, that might- that wouldn't be too bad. But my inventory's already full. I, uh... I don't remember where it is. Oh, I know where the- I know where the cage is. The cage is by the safe. I forgot. The cage is by the safe. I couldn't get in because I didn't have a key card. What's up? I'm just gonna... Alright. I'm a little lost right now on where to go. But it'll all be figured out in a second. It has to be nearby, because it says 049. Oh, that's... That's... Oh, that's bullshit. Alright. Yeah, it says 049's nearby, which means... The surveillance room's nearby, because that's what spawns him. Is activating the surveillance... Or going into the surveillance room and doing all that stuff. 
So it has to be down there somewhere. We've ran past it like several times. I remember that. Maybe it's the other side next to the elevator. Actually, I think that's where I need to go. Is I think it's next to the elevator downstairs. That leads to the downstairs. Plus, it's the only other thing I haven't been to, so... Save when you can. That guy's bugs still. Maybe not. Yeah, this room. This is what I needed. We need this right here. 8431. 8431. I have a notepad here. It has a lot of things on it. Where do I have room? That's right, right there. That will come into handy at some point, but we have the key now, so it's not the end of the world if we didn't have it, but just in case. So now we have bugs floating around our peripheral. So if it wasn't here, then it was back by the safe, and I, we're just going in circles now. I don't need the nav card because I'm only looking up for 173 right now and I can hear if the old man appears. saved. It is this way. It's right there. Alright. What else is down here before I activate it? Because I won't be able to go this way anyway. The hole in the wall and I think it's these guys and then it's the elevator, right? Oh, there's more things. Oh, there's the bug. Uh, that's- it turns your hand into mugs. That one's a fun one. Uh, I think it's just a water can, to be honest. Uh, that causes the glasses to get permanently stuck on your eyes. 178. Oh, uh, 3D goggles that, uh, summons creatures that only the goggle person can see. And, uh, as if you bump into them, they kill you. Or try to kill you. But if you take off the goggles, you're fine. Is there a save in here? There's not. Alright, cool. Alright, here we go. We're gonna see on the camera, that middle one. There he is, the Plague Doctor. Light zone contamination off. 
gonna show up. Yep, and he's gonna chase us down the middle. That's level one. Oh, does it match any DNA scanner? I beg to differ. All right, let's find a save. 106. Oh, this is 106 containment. We're gonna do this real quick and then we'll save. Oh, I'm so glad we found this really early. Containing 106 is so crucial. It is one of the most necessary things of the game because there's so many things he does. It, it, it's kind of sad though, but B class personnel are all criminals put to death row. Mm -hmm being set to, being put to a greater use. So what we need to do is turn on the sounds transmitter, and then it, we need to turn off the electromagnets. And then we do the femur breaker, because 106 is attracted to pain. So we break his femur. And now we wait. We have one chance to do this, or we can just say and reload a save, but if it was on like Keter or something, if you fail this, you can't ever contain him again. Oh, there's the bug again. He, he just showed up on the right. There he is. Turn on the electromagnets and he should be there forever. I believed it worked because he's not chasing us. I just don't want to save just in case we failed. But I will trust my better judgment. So, we got through area one. There are two more after now. So, I, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this and uh, I'll see, I'll see you on the next one.